just try the best that I can every time you come out. But I'm not the only person. I mean, any one of these guys could have done it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of good crew chiefs, a lot of tuners out here, a lot of good teams. I mean, we know that race in, race out. But we came here with the goal. Well, I came here with the goal to try to run the 399. And everybody did, I'm sure. You know, I was in a little bit different situation this year, you know, not in the points, not racing or anything. So, you know, just came here. We we didn't have nothing to lose. So, you know, just figured, well, let's go there and let's go for it and let's try. You know what I mean? So that was the goal coming in. Wasn't worried about where we really qualified or, you know, we, the goal was 399. And we were fortunate to get it because actually the motor blew up about 100 foot before the finish line. That's why I didn't run any speed. I think it would have went 98 with an eight, had it have made it all the way through. But I mean, it was a big sacrifice for doing it, but it's done now and it's over and it's really a relief. And if any one of them other guys would have did it, it would have been over. And I would have been good with that because all of us for years and years and years have been chasing it. So, you know, I got the opportunity to do it with the Butners. J.R. Carr was supposed to come out. He lost his uncle, couldn't make the race. So, I mean, I really would have liked to have done it with J.R. because he's got so many years, you know, he actually put a lot into this deal right here. So, but it was great for the Butners to come out and do it. So, it all worked out in the end, but, you know, I got to thank Richard Freeman for letting us come out here and do it. Leap Motorsports, you know, for letting me do it. And J.R. Carr and Terry Carr for all the years that they let me do it, you know what I'm saying, to get to this point. There's a lot of people, lot, and I've said this, you know, the past couple of days, there's a lot of people involved in this whole thing, a lot of manufacturers. I mean, if I sat here and named every one of them, I'd be sitting here for the next 15 minutes. But I mean, there's a lot of people to thank. I'm just, I've been blessed in this race and uh, deal, you know what I mean? Because I, we're all, I'm getting old, you know what I mean? There's a lot of young guys out here, but I'm getting old. You know, I don't know how much longer we'd be out here doing it, but I mean, I got to do it. I'm fortunate to have great people around me, great crew guys, you know, great owners, <laughs> great drivers, you know what I mean? I've just been fortunate. Um, I'm glad it's over. AED Performance was founded with one basic premise in mind, manufacturing high-quality components at reasonable prices. We manufacture the finest line of performance and competition CNC machine carburetors on the market today. Reach out to us at AEDPerformance.com or 804-271-9107. If we can help guys like that, we can help you. You have the eighth mile time record, right? Three point nine on seven. Yep. You have six point one seven nine, two hundred twenty eight point two three with JR Park. That's Quickest, right. fastest on the quarter mile. Yeah. So now, you know, man, which ones? Which ones savorier? Which one tastes better? Which one was harder to achieve? Oh, the three ninety nine, without a doubt. The 399 because the 617 is uh, horsepower. The 399, you don't need as much power to do it, but you need power. You know what I'm saying? It's all the stars got to align, and that's just what they did on that run. And Randy Lynn did, a, you know, a good job to actually, you know, get it there. I mean, you know, here's the thing: had probably a more experienced driver been in the car when the thing threw the the valve out of it, we would have clutched it. Every one of us would have clutched it. She didn't know any different, you know what I'm saying? She legged it through. Had she clutched it like every one of us would have, probably would have went in the 99.7, you know what I mean? So she was in it at the right time, you know, on the right pass. And I feel bad for Lump and Monty and John DeFlorian and all the other guys, you know, that, you know, Chris Powers, Chuck, I mean, all these guys that have tried it, you know, and have gotten close. But uh, I was lucky, you know, to get it. Um, the 617, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm very proud of that one, too. And here's the biggest thing of all. I got to prove that I'm not cheap. 
because I've heard for years and years and years, you can't go that fast. You gotta be cheating. You, you got big cubic inches, this, that, and the other. I got tore down for the 399 run. And uh, I was actually too small, considerably small, you know what I mean? So as I am myself, but you know, it's uh, that was another blessing because, you know, hopefully that puts all that the rest, you know what I'm saying? That, uh, because I'm not a cheater. If I had to cheat, I'd stay in my house. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all good. So Frank, we're hearing some rumors. I need an interview with some of your drivers in Las Vegas. Can you get that lined up for me, man? Well, I, you know, there's, there's gonna be a big elite. Um, from what I understand, there's going to be four mountain motor cars. Over four here. mountain motor cars. Thank you for offering that information. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute. Who's wait driving? a minute. Wait a minute. Come on. This is not. <laughs> wait. This is not all confirmed. Okay. This is just possible. Possible. I. You know what? There's four cars. There are four cars. He. Uh, Richard does have four cars. So. Drivers, I can't answer that question. Okay, okay. Well, at least four cars. That's a shot across the bow. Well, we know uh, Jerry, Jerry Tucker is uh, coming on board. Is he? Okay. Yep. So, you know, you're going to have Jerry Don and, um, I'm, you know, I'm sure the Butner. So that's three. And then I can't, I don't know who. JR is. coming back? You know, I can't, I really honestly don't know. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> That was a nice dramatic pause. All right, all that aside, Frank, thank you so much for your time. You've always been generous over the years. You have proven that you are one heck of a bad mamma jamma. And I'm sure when you look around your shop, you walk out of your house, you go out back, you go in your shop, not a lot of people are there at three, four, or five in the morning with you. Uh, as you get <laughs> that would be done. zero, zero that people, are with right, me, right? yep, zero. Yeah, that's the kind of dedication yep. that gets you across the line, 3997. Frank Gugliata, thank you so much, hey. and congratulations. Thank you. We are I'm so proud of you. Everyone at Limo Guy TV, everyone at Real Pro Stock, big tear in their eye because they were all rooting for you, and they're so happy it was you, Frank. Hey, Scott, I want to thank you for all the years you've done out here, you know, in the interviews and chasing everybody around and everything. I want to really thank the Limo Guy. I want to thank PDRA. I really love racing here. It's like family over here. And... Uh, I want to thank you. Frank Ugliata, thank you, man. Thank you. Have a great day, bud. Thanks. This is our new OEP charger. We partnered with Optimate to create a charger that'll help re-optimize, recondition, and recharge your battery. So as long as it has a volt in it, it'll be able to recharge. At the end, it'll do a state of health test and let you know just how viable your battery is. It also has a tune mode. That way, if you're maintaining your car, you are working on some engine starts, you don't have to drain your battery. You can just put this on, it's got a steady state of electricity. So the next time you say, oh, I drained my battery, it's broken, now we can fix it. Yeah.